What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena. For those of you who don't know, for those of you who do know, welcome back. How you doing? I'm glad you're back. I'm so sorry. I've been MIA. A beach being real the bug busy, okay? And I have some amazing news. I was actually given the opportunity to go and work New York Fashion Week this year. So I have been busy with that and I'm also partnering in a project with a hairstylist actually here on YouTube. His name is Brad Mondo, I believe it is. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put his information in the description box. In this video, you guys will see how I came up with this look right here. I just filmed the eyes. I did not film the rest of the face because it was more of like a, I already knew what my consensus was on the foundation and I plan to review it in the video, but then I just changed my mind. So you'll see it as the video goes on. I came up with this look right, right here. I was really, really, really inspired by like mermaid vibes. I wanted some green, some blue, and I think I did a little bit of both. I'm loving and living. I wish that I, you guys will see in the review, uh, well, my opinions at the end, how I feel about the foundation, but you'll see you'll see you'll see in the review i can't say i can't give that away to you not in the intro so if you guys want to see how i got this look then please keep watching so today we will be playing with one of the morph and jaclyn hill bolt palettes if you are here for makeup then you obviously already know who jaclyn hill is jaclyn hill came out with an extension of her i guess collabs with morphe because lord knows sis she run morphe she gets free bottles at the club for morphe like she came up with four different palettes and they all have a theme reared around them. The first one is Dark Magic, the second one is Blink Boss, Ring the Alarm, and then Armed and Gorgeous. These two are more of like uh, fall warm tones and then this one is definitely more neutral and cool tone. And then Dark Magic is the one that we actually use today because I don't really use dark colors like that. I don't really do blown out things like this because i do know that the people who watch my youtube are people who wouldn't day to day wear like a robust amount of color the palette that we are going to be using today is dark matter and this is exactly what the palette looks like it is beautiful to be honest with you guys in the beginning when i originally opened up the actual package and like tried everything out you know like just looked at it tested it out or whatever the case may be i really was unhappy I was unhappy to the extent that I said it on Instagram because I just felt like I wasn't wild. And anytime I think Jaclyn Hill, I think, wow. You know, like I don't think regular because I don't look at Jaclyn Hill as regular, you know? So when I first watched the first few shadows, they didn't look the best. Like when I was watching them, I had to like really, you know, dig in there and get like a good swatch. And that was what kind of had my attitude towards it. Like, hmm. I don't know which I should stop doing because you shouldn't ever judge a palette by its swatches. You should judge a palette by how it wears on your eyes. Like I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eye. I will be using my ColourPop concealer and I will be using the shade, which I just restocked on some shades. I'm using the shade medium 26. I usually use the light 18, but I realized in another photo, a whole another time and place that I don't think that that's my color anymore. <laughs> like, the Selena the summer, then came, started, it's fake been the fall, couple of days, like. But I also don't go out like that, guys. Like, I don't be out, so my skin tone literally stays the same because I'm always home. Like, I don't leave my house. The only way I go out is if I'm going out for clients and stuff like that. But, like, this summer, this summer was definitely a work hard and stay home all summer. Summer for me. But definitely for next summer, thought and bought and I'm tooting and booting, I'm out of here. I'm gonna be out here, like doing doing the damn thing. Okay, so I went ahead and set my eyelid with the translucent powder from ColourPop. I also used a concealer, I think I already mentioned that. What's exciting about this video is that we are gonna be trying the ColourPop foundation on camera, which I have tried it in the past. I did not, we're gonna wait till we get to the foundation part, okay? For now, let's just fix the eyes. Now, to get started, we will be going in with the color inside job right here. This is the color that I put all the way on the outside of my crease. It is like a dark green mm, kind of color, you know? One of those thingy majis. And I like to go. So, because my eye is hooded, like I told you guys, I kind of like look up a little bit. Like, I'll go like this. 
just so that I can see like where the curve is at on my eye. Cause when I go like this, look at all that skin there. Like, if only you could like. And I'm going in with a crown C511. You guys can use code Selena Marie for 20% off at checkout to let them not send you. Guys, actually, I do want to talk about crown brushes really fast. So, I know that people probably think just because somebody receives packages or they do promos for these companies because they like them or whatever the case may be, do not think that that hinders my judgment on anything like I don't care who sends me things for free. That's not going to change the way I'm going to speak about a product, you know? Like, if it if it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. I'm just more like, I won't go out my way to dedicate, like, a whole video of negatively speaking about another brand or just, like, a product because those people probably put in a lot of work. And if they didn't put in the work, that's exactly what the product is going to be like. It's going to be shitty work, you know? So I feel like the products will speak for themselves, but I do also feel like in the beauty community, a lot of people have lost sight of respect and, you know, just like doing the right thing. And I refuse this, like, I will not be part of that, that statistic. So that's the reason why I don't speak on things. And it is also the reason why I didn't put up the video about the ColourPop Foundation when I originally got it, because I just really wasn't happy with the way it looked. I didn't like the way it made my skin look, like, I even took down the photo of me wearing the actual foundation because I just felt like I looked horrible. That foundation from Colourpop, mm -mm, it looked so bad on me. By the end of the day, it was already patching up around the sides of my mouth and it was also like, I don't know if it was too light or if it was too dark. I went like two shades darker for this time around. Like, literally to change dark to the point that it kind of looks orange right here. So, that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. I will not sit here and lie to you and tell you that the blending process of this video is quick because it's not. You're definitely going to be there for a while, blending back and forth. And I'm also literally just going back and forth in my crease, back and forth in my crease, getting some more product, going back and forth in my crease. Now that I've got this color, this darker color towards our ends all put in there. I know you guys are probably wondering why I look so harsh. So another technique that I have been using lately is I'll pat down the actual color of the pigment and just put it down so that I can have real rich color and make sure that the placement of the shadow is like top notch and magnificent. I do want to soften up the edges on the outside so I am going to be going in with the color potion right here on the far left and what I plan to do is use potion on this is called an eye catching crease by MOTD. I love this brush to do exactly this just like the smaller detail and you guys also want to make sure that you're always holding your brush a little farther than the front of it like I know it probably makes sense to you to be a little closer so you have more grip but if you do it farther, your touch is very light and then you are able to easily blend without, you know, the weirdness. So we're just taking that potion color and just softening up. Now that that is all down, I will be going in with a little bit more of my ColourPop concealer. I'm going to show you guys right now how much I'm taking. I'm literally taking nothing. <laughs> like, I'm taking, like, a little, little, little dab on the side. I'm going to take a little bit on my brush. And what I like to do is close my eye so that I can see where the round part of it is. Like, you know, you can see the circle. What I want to do is meet up with the concealer, boom, right there. So that it doesn't interfere with anything, but it also cuts out the crease so that I could make the design. Now that my base is a little more clear and we are rocking and rolling with the, you know, we are now going to be going in with the Mothership Supernova Shadow by Colourpop. This is what it looks like. Fire. 
boom i think i told you guys about these before i love love these i think do i have a video on this i do have a video using this but that one that i was using that day i don't know my eye that makeup that day mm, i don't know you know sometimes these videos that i put up that i'm just like i have to put it up because i did it and i edited it so i'm like you know put it up like don't not put it up because it's content that you did but sometimes i don't really like it but this this i really like this i really love so we're gonna keep rocking with this one so yeah we're gonna be using the supernova shadow in mothership i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my hand so you guys can see a little swash swash or whatever do you see that that teal yummy goodness jesus christ so we're gonna use that what I did to get this more like sea green looking color right here, I mixed the blue that's inside of the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is the color Busted right here. I used that color right in the middle between the transition of the green and the blue. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And if you're wondering how, look, you see? You see because I have hooded eyes? You see that? How it goes up? Upsetting, it's upsetting, it's so upsetting. Jesus Christ, but it's all right, we'll fix it. We will fix it, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe. Oh, oh my god, you see that? Beautiful, I love like I love it so much. The only thing I will say is you could definitely build it up maybe twice, but these things do start cracking. If you like do too much, like if you add too much, like if you have a shadow down already and then you're trying to put this on top. Don't do it. You're gonna, it's gonna mess up your makeup. All right. So now that the blue is on there, what we're gonna do now is go back in with that C511. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color Busted right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that color to basically blend the Supernova shadow and the colors potion and inside job on the outside in order to create more of a gradient. I know it probably looks like it doesn't make a big difference, but it does. It does, okay? Just trust me. Next, we are going to be going in with another ColourPop product. Even though we're using the more for Jaclyn Hill, we did use all ColourPop products besides, like, my lashes and my mascara, but whatever. We are going to be going in with the ColourPop Super Sock Shadow in Special Delivery. Look how fire. It's green. I'm going to put give you a little swatch on my hands it's like a it just has like sparkles on it that works well as a topper on top of other colors and this supernova shadow looks incredible but like i said it does crack a little bit if you layer too much and on this side i didn't layer too much i didn't get the opportunity to layer too much but i had went over it just to like clean up the shadow a bit and i noticed that it cracked up and like separated so just a heads up on that like I said, I'll be honest about things. I, won't, I wouldn't ever lie to you guys about shit like that. Alright, so on top of this blue circle that you see like going in, I'm going to go ahead and use my finger to apply. And oh my god, you see that? Do you see what adding the green on top of it does? It like gives it mermaid vibes, right? Okay, so you guys see what the super shock shadow did to the supernova shadow by adding like the topper on it giving it that more of like a you know deep sea i'm ariel from the hood kind of feel you know what i mean like i love it so much so so much next i'm gonna be going in with my maybelline total temptation mascara honestly you guys know that i think that maybelline and like l'oreal they make the all the mascaras are the same to me i just feel like some are good, some are, you know, kind of thing. I'm going to go in with the color Temptress right here, this black color. And I'm just going to use it to go over this black liner, kind of to, like, dry it out. And also smudge out the liner at the end to create that more diffused look. Alright, next we are going to be going in with some lashes. Lashes I'm going to be using today are my Carla J Glam lashes. I know they look... The, I know this packaging looks nasty. I know that looks nasty, but that's not the point here. The point is that these are the lashes I'm wearing, okay? We're going to be going in with the style Penelope right here, you know? I love, I love. I've actually had these lashes, guys, over. Over. I wouldn't say going on a year soon. Okay. So first, we are going to be going in with... The ColourPop No Filter Found 
foundation. Look at it. Isn't it so cute? I mean, it's not like the foundation is really costly, so it's not like I really have rights to be complaining about shit, but you know, I mean, it's not me unless I complain about it. So, I really, really like the concept of it, just the fact that it's cheap. I love, I love the concealer. I think the concealer is incredible. That's why I was so, like, excited about the fact that they came out with a foundation. I'm like, oh, it's fucking lit. I want to get me some nice coverage for cheap. I could stop burning my Maybelline Fit Me, but... No, no, it was still ready for me. And the reason why is because, guys, my first go rounds of this foundation did not necessarily go well. And it's because a few things, like, it might have been because of the primer I used, or it might have been because of other things. I don't know. The point is, it was breaking up a lot around my mouth. It looked completely two different colors. I thought maybe that could have been a thing, too. Like, maybe I didn't get the right shade, so that's probably why. I didn't really like the way that it sat on my skin, and... The point is, I went and repurchased, I went and got another shade, this is the shade Dark 155, and originally I was Medium 115, so <laughs> I thought that maybe just getting dark would be better, you know, and if I had to mix, I could just mix it, but always better to be darker than to be lighter. When you're darker, it's okay, but when you're lighter, it's like you look like a ghost. See? That's deaf, wow, that's so dark, I don't know, let me see, oh my god, it's like orange dark. It's like really dark. If you're wondering why I'm still putting it on, it's because I'm just gonna mix it with the, the lighter shade that I have. And just maybe mixing them together and make it look a certain way. I don't know. All right, we're gonna leave that. Oh, and I applied that with my Morphe G31. And no, I, I'm not popping yet, so I don't have a code for Morphe, sorry guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Eco Tool sponge. You already know what's the, what's the, what's the bee's nails. The bee's nails, we, we de sponge. I love. See? I mean, it kinda looks okay now. All put together, it doesn't look, doesn't look too dark. Okay, so for the rest of the video, because I really do need to let my camera charge so that I can finish filming the rest of the video for you guys. I am going to do my makeup off camera, like the actual, you know, putting on my concealer. Because you guys have already seen me use this concealer. You guys see me use these highlighters, use the lip gloss. Right? I will be putting in the description box exactly what is it that I use. But just to keep it towards just the eyes, we're going to just cut the video right here. And I'll let you guys know about how I feel about the foundation at the end. Because last time, I was able to see right away that I didn't like it. So... BRB, okay? Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. How do you feel? I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I love it. The only thing is, guys, uh, this is the part of the video that I don't think I'm gonna like that much. I do not like this ColourPop foundation at all. And if you know me, you know that I love, love ColourPop. Like, I am a diehard ColourPop consumer like I use Colourpop so so much I use Colourpop in my everyday Colourpop is amazing to me so when I heard that they were coming out with a foundation I was really 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 excited about it I was just like oh my god perfect like I'm always purchasing the concealers you guys always see me put their stuff up on my Instagram and I really just did not like this foundation I've gone through too much with this foundation trying it and I wanted to give it a second shot because, you know, you get, like I said to you guys, I love ColourPop. So I was like, you know what? Let me just purchase it again. Another makeup artist friend of mine was like, no, it's really good. Try to go two shades darker than the shade that you got that it matched you on the website. Maybe it'll be better like that. You could just make it lighter, mix it if you need to, which I did end up having to do you guys saw in the video. And, you know, like, I don't know. I just don't like it. And I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit because maybe from right here, it might look Okay, the eyes look so good though. I love, look at that. Oh, do you guys see? How it looks everywhere, even right here. Like, this never happens to me. This is like, my redness is peeking through here. The eyes though, they look great. I love the eyes, I think the eyes look amazing. But, Overall, and the foundation was just too orange, like, yeah, 
very disappointed. And I baked, I did everything. And literally, it looks like this. I tried everything. From far, it probably looks okay. It's when you're really close up that you can really see. But I'm just not a fan. ColourPop, I don't think you'll ever see this video. But if you were to see this video, I love, love, love all your products. I love them extremely. But if I dislike a product, I will speak on it and I will say that I didn't like it or just that it didn't work out for me. Doesn't mean it's a bad product, just means that it didn't work out for me. And personally, like, I wouldn't tell my followers to buy it because I didn't have a big, good experience with it, you know? Uh, yeah, aside from that, everything else, I love. These Supernova shadows are bomb. Aside from the fact that they'll flake if, you know, other stuff is going on. I don't know, I think, it, I think everything is pretty good. Like, I love it. I think it's cute. Like, so... I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I hope you guys love me enough to keep up with me and push that subscribe button wherever it's at. I'll make sure to put a little pop-up thing somewhere right here just to remind you that you need to subscribe and so my channel. Por favor, because I need the subscribers. And I love talking to you guys and why not add people to the fam? You feel me? Alright, well, I hope you guys have a great evening wherever you are and I'll see you guys in the next one.